Okay, so welcome to my video and uh, in this video we are going to craft an item called uh, journeyman's uh, curse staff. So, to craft this item we have to like, uh, like I am in here, I am in the ship here. So, if you have come from the uh, island, uh, you should you should be coming here in this in this ship like this uh, this ship provides all the places like uh, forest cross, island cross, steppy cross. So yeah, so I hope that you have uh, completed the tutorial part. Now once you have completed the tutorial part, you have to you have to come here and go to the forest cross. So the forest cross is basically this place so in the forest cross you have to find where you could uh, you have to find the place where you would uh, uh, craft the curse staff so to craft the curse staff you have to go and find this spot here the spot is known as uh, journeyman's major tower so this is the this is the this is the place where you will be able to craft the journeyman's uh, curse staff so to craft to craft the journeyman's curse stuff, you have to first see the ingredients here. So the ingredients here you will have to see is this one, like the journeyman curse stuff is here. We need chestnut planks. To get the chestnut planks, we need first chestnut logs, and then we need bridge planks, right? And in the second one, we will need bronze bar. And bronze bar to for getting bronze bar, uh, we need uh, this uh, tin ore and the copper bar and this chestnut plank we will get from chestnut logs and bridge planks so ultimately we have to get like tin ore and then this tin ore copper we need to get tin ore and copper ore then we need to get uh, chestnut logs and then we need bridge logs so we will start with getting the wood before with us like the wood one wood materials so we will first get the wood materials to get the wood materials we will have to go to north north from this place so yeah you will just have to follow these and there are a lot of things in this game so if you want to like if you are already in the in the journey of like being a march you may want to like uh, create your own stuff like creating like buying stuff from the marketplace is also an option here but say suppose if you want to like uh, make more um, uh, like more money so you could craft things so the crafting things uh, you you have to like start off with the novices items first but uh, since i am doing the tutorial of this journeyman's items so like you may have already been through all the crafting crafting of the journeyman's items before so anyhow so i'm i'm going to show you on like how to craft the curse staff in this video so for this you have to get bridge logs in in here first so you do not have to you do not have to uh, take these these ones like these will provide rough logs if you put over the mouse over it it will, it will show you rough logs so these are not the trees you have to cut down and oh yeah and what and one thing more you have to get the basic tools right so the basic tools is right here so you have to get these basic tools here so for getting the wood you need this novices axe at least the novices axe at least uh, or beginners axe whatever axe you you want to have you, you could get it like so um, i have a lot of tools in here so i will just uh, use whatever is useful for me so this now when you come here you, if you see this shade of tree here like this uh, brown lightish brown and white kind of tree here this is this will provide you bridge log so you have to cut these you have to cut these enough and get the bridge logs from here so in the uh, 
So here you have to collect all the bridge logs. Now, if you go further deep, if you go further deep in this fo in this forest here, you will you will come to you will also find chestnut logs here. But at first, we will need to get bridge logs enough, approximately seventeen or so. So you do so finding bridge logs it is a bit difficult, but you will find them eventually. Like these are these are the ones which will give you bridge logs. So you have to cut these. You have to cut these and get all the bridge logs from here. So like see the, the last last plant which I cut was of rough log, it was not a bridge log. So you have to be careful like this game has a little bit of bug in it. So sometimes when you do cut uh, the bridge logs, some of the bridge logs come out to be as rough logs. So you have to be careful about that also. And uh, this is like in the north of uh, forest crop, this is a very safe place. Stackburn is a very safe place. So this place is called Stackburn. Uh, so this is a very safe place, and nobody can kill you here. So you do not have to fear that anybody will PK you, player kill you here, or take all your items here. So this is a relatively safe space to uh, get the rough logs. Sorry, rough logs. Uh, I don't mean rough logs. Uh, I mean bridge logs. So yeah. You could get rough logs here as well for crafting uh, simple tools and all, but I would suggest that tools are so cheap. Tools are so cheap that you could uh, buy it from the marketplace. Uh, I will I will do more tutorials. I will do more tutorials about tools as well. But for now, like you could buy it, or uh, like you could take from someone who is your friend in this game or something. So there are many bridge logs here. Like we have reached uh, and do remember that you do not have to like uh, get too much of these wood wood because like ultimately you have to craft only one cursed uh, staff so. Like you do not want to get too much of that uh, bridge logs. You have to like save your time and get uh, other stuff as well. So I suppose we have collected enough bridge logs, and uh, I think this is enough. See, this one is rough logs, but their color is like a bridge log, so you don't have to collect these. But you have to collect these one, which shows bridge logs in here. Uh, yeah, maybe I will take one more tree or so. I will take one more tree, and uh, this will be our last tree. Now to find the chestnut, chestnut trees. Now to find the chestnut tree, you have to go deeper, deeper as in go towards north, more north than you have came from the forest cross. Oh yeah, and killing these will not give you anything much but sometimes it is fun to kill little critters there is a there is a uh, go, um, there is a goal in here i will show you maybe in the in the next video not in this video so there is one uh, like you ha one goal um, goal in this game that you have to kill a lot of critters in here so like you could do that but it's not a very, I mean, very important goal of this game. So it is not a very good, uh, it, is, it, is, it is not a very uh, uh, rewarding achievement in this game. Okay, so these are bridge logs, so you do not have to collect these anymore. We have plenty of bridge logs here, so we, we do not have to collect these. We have to go further north. 
we have to find chestnut trees. Now, these are chestnut trees, these bright green, green colors and these, these shade of uh, trees are, are chestnut trees. We have to collect these here. So, we will have to, we do not have to collect a lot, but we have to collect enough. So, these are a bit rarer to find, but as I said, if you go deeper, like this one here, this one is a live one, so it will attack you. So, you have to be careful on attacking it back because these moving ones are like they do a lot of damage. If you are a very, uh, if you are a low tire player, then they could probably can kill you if, if, if you are not equipped with uh, good armor and stuff. So, in here you will find more, more of uh, chestnut trees. So, you could take more of the chestnut trees. Uh, we have to collect two more things here. We have collected bridge logs and chestnut logs. Now we have to collect tin ore and copper ore as well. So it will be uh, like that will be the whole process in like getting uh, all the ingredients for the cur journeyman's curse stuff. So yeah, uh, it will be okay. I think I am not finding any more of. Uh, chestnut trees like, and there is one trick you could do in this such as like suppose if you are not finding any more chestnut trees for say I think this one is a moving one let's see yeah this one is a moving one so first we have to defeat it and Whatever weapons you have, you use it to defeat this and then cut the chestnut logs. Well, if you if you are not that strong enough or you do not have that uh, armor, then I would suggest to stay away from these ones and collect these static ones, these uh, rest, resting chestnut trees. This will, uh, this will be much easier to collect. Right. So, I think we have collected two and oh yeah and you have to be careful about with these wolves as well because these wolves will attack you if you come to a certain radius of them. So you have to fight them off as well. So just use your weapons and do not forget to collect the thin hides of this. Uh, animals because you could later on sell them for something or craft something else so it is always a good thing to gather all the things whatever you've discovered through here some of the things are used such as stones or rough logs in far into the game because they, I, you could get them in pennies or something like that but when you are starting out as a journeyman I, you should gather any or every stuff which you can get and you should find all the chestnut uh, trees deep here in the stack burn. So. And if you get lost, you can always put use this map here. So you can always use this map here to see in the right side of your screen, you can see the map here. So you can always see where you are in the stack burn. Right. Now there is one more. There are two more chestnut trees here, so you can get chestnut logs from these as well. Now. I will go ahead and attack these creatures because I am in a, I think I am in a very strong position to kill these. These are not that strong enough to kill me right now. So yeah, and I think this is, this will be the last one I think I suppose I should get. So yeah, after you have collected these you have to go back to the forest cross now. Uh, you have to go to a place called Cracked Earth. 
Now, this is west of Hoyas cross not uh, not here. So, let me just mount on my horse by going through the horse going on top of the horse it will be much more easier to easier to go back and faster as well. So, you will see a lot of chestnut chestnut trees and uh, uh, bridge trees here while you go back. So, this is this is the place where you have to collect all that all the wood here. In the north of Forest Cross, you no, know, this the place is known as Stackburn. It's a very good place, and it's a no PVP to a no PVP zone place, so nobody could attack you even if they want to until you uh, sign up for a duel or something. Then you could like, um, get. Like even then, if you if you sign up for a uh, duel with something, sorry, uh, duel with somebody, you could uh, get unconscious, but you cannot be killed, and your stuff will still be there. You will just leave out some of the silver, and that is all the stuff you need to leave out. So let's go back to the journeyman, uh, journey, journeyman. Journeyman's Mage's Tower here, and uh, here you will see the Journeyman's Curse Tower here. So you have to collect uh, 16 chestnut planks, right? So let's see. You have to collect 16 chestnut planks, and for that you need chestnut logs and bridge planks. So currently we have. Currently, we have a couple of uh, bridge logs, and couple of rough logs, and couple of chestnut logs. So, rough logs we do not need. We need chestnut logs, and we need bridge logs. From the bridge logs, we will craft uh, chestnut planks. So, from chestnut logs, we will craft chestnut planks. So, and from uh, bridge logs, we will craft this plank. So first what we have to do is we have to go to the lumberjack here. Lumberjack is in here. So lumberjack here we have to first craft bridge planks here. So we have 87 logs here. So we could craft all the logs into planks like bridge, bridge logs into bridge planks. And it will uh, it will use some focus. Uh, I don't think we should use any focus right now. Uh, because it is just a test uh, crafting. It's not a like if you if you want to craft a better material, then you should use focus and everything. But for now, uh, there is no need of using this focus right now. Like for your first craft, I do not recommend to use focus because you have limited focus, right? So that's why you shouldn't use focus right now. So let's go ahead and craft this and once you have crafted this you should have bridge planks here. Once you have the bridge plank go to chestnut planks option here and then let's see you have enough uh, enough enough bridge planks here and you also have enough chestnut logs here because we have collected chestnut logs as well from the chestnut trees. So we will go ahead and craft these. All right. right. So now we have, let's see, we have chestnut planks and we have some of the bridge planks also we have left. So we only need the chestnut planks here. This one is uh, is left out. So we do not need this right now. And you could you could find some of the bridge logs here as well if you would see here. You, but uh, you will not find as that many as you will find in the stack burn. So we will go back to the. Journeyman, journeyman, journeyman's mages tower, and uh, see uh, what else do we need here? Like how many stuff? We do know that we need uh, tin ore and copper ore, but how much? We will have to see from going back to the journeyman's mages tower. We will click back to the journeyman's curse staff here. So we have enough uh, chestnut planks. We needed 16, and we have 33. Now we need eight bronze bar. 
so for eight bronze bar we would need some tin ore and for and for copper bars we would need some copper ore so to get tin ore and copper ore we would have to go to the west of forest cross and it is better to take a ride with you because it will be a bit far not that far but it will be a, a little bit far so you just go there in the cracked earth here in the west of forest cross so here what you have to do is you do not you have to go deeper like more west you have to go more west and cross cross all these impalas here so you do not have to give that much thought to impalas here now once you come here deeper here see this is copper ore so you have to collect these here you will go ahead and collect these Right. and there are there are many uh, okay some of the ores are depleted here because this person Q Cubus is who was taking the copper ore but yeah we, we will get some thing yeah here it is empty here so we will have to collect enough not too much not too less just enough so here is the copper again over here again so you sh if you see this shining rock here that means it is in a copper ore so and copper ore and tin ore looks quite same it looks quite same so like but you will not find copper ore here sorry uh, you will not find tin ore here so uh, you will find only copper ore here in the uh, in this place of cracked earth for finding uh, finding tin ore you have to go more west to find tin ore here so first we will collect some enough copper ore and once we have collected enough copper ore we will go more e west and uh, we would collect tin ore so these are depleted i think yes this person here rechiclet is i think collect where we're collecting copper ore and now they are afk and all these are depleted okay some of them have came back so if you just wait around a bit even if you like there are very less co copper ores here so and there are a lot of people here finding copper ores and in, in in near the cracked earth so you have to just wait around a bit and then collect these stuff because because a lot of people are trying to get the copper for themselves so the resources are a little bit depleted okay let's see how much copper ore we have so this is the copper ore we have 30 copper ore i think this is enough this will be enough copper ore for our crafting and uh, yeah maybe we should collect one or two co more of these copper ore and then we are done so we'll just go back and uh, do our surveys again do our surveys again here and uh, see so this guy is also collecting cotton here if you see this these plants here these are cotton and flax as well some of the, these these ones here is called flax the ones with the bright green leaves 
and the ones with the brown leaves and the white flower are cotton but we do not have to collect those right now we just have to collect copper ore right now so we will focus on that and we will see like what okay everybody has left luckily we could collect all the copper ore from this place and this one too okay so we have collected all the copper over here now we will take our ride here which is the horse uh, horse is the fastest of the rides i suppose but it is not like it could you cannot take a lot of load in it so if you want to travel a lot travel with a lot of weight it, it shouldn't be uh, horse but if you want to travel fast, horse is the best uh, ride for you. But some people, okay, we do not have to go here. This is the dead end. Just uh, navigate through this part here. Uh, we have to go more towards west. We have to climb this place and this is the back side of, of cracked earth. Now here you will find impalas which you are finding here. And if you go down here you will find more copper here I presume. So this is the copper ore. And you have to be careful with these. These. Scavengers here. Let's see. How strong they are. Not very strong. Okay, so this is also copper ore. We need to go more west. We need to go more west. So, and these are moa bird. These moa bird provide you thin hide, which you could sell for a very good price. You will not get that much, but if you combine it with thick hide with other stuff, you will get a lot of surprise. You have to be careful with these uh, cougars. Cougars tend to be you tend to attack you when you are in their range, in their proximity. So they will attack you and always be like always try to collect all the thin hides from them because you could sell them okay so this should be tin ore i think yes this is the tin ore but it is depleted so we have to keep we have to be remember that we have we are leaving one tin ore in the back place. Let's see, this one is also tin ore here, and this was and this was is this is not depleted. So we will collect these. And uh, a lot of tin ore here. Apparently nobody collects tin ore. Here is the cougar again attacking me. So, it is best to finish them off as soon as possible because they just take your time, your energy so it is best to finish them off as quickly as possible and I am taking a lot of time to kill these so yeah. and this one still remains these moa birds Like these will not kill you if you are a journeyman but it will it, they will all really take your health out so they will not also damage your uh, robes or armor because they are not strong enough but they are very very time taking to kill 
so you have to be fast in killing them and attack with all you got so these are some flags right here you do not have to collect flags okay you have to find some more uh, tin over here yes see we have tin over here so we could collect these right now we have collected tin over here and uh, let's find something more you do not have to go here like because this uh, shiny thing is here like stars they tell you that it will they will teleport you to another land which you do not you do not have to go you for 10 you have to be in the cracked earth and not go anywhere else so this is here you will find another 10 over here so there you go right so here and I suppose we could more find more tin over here as well. So there we go. More tin over. And here as well we have some tin over. So we will collect these. Right, so let's check our inventory. And we have copper ore. And let's see how much tin ore we have. Uh -huh -huh. Rough stone. That's strange. Oh, yeah, here we have. We have tin ore here 27 tin ore and 84 copper ore. So I suppose we have enough of those materials as well so let's mount on our horse and go back to forest cross now you may want to like fight these cougars who are getting getting behind you but like it's not worth the fight right like, you have better things to do so just leave them with your like just go with your horse and leave them and uh, go to your place and So these are also interesting, but uh, we will not go into those right now. We will first try, try to go back, go back to the lower, lower uh, s s uh, end of the cracked earth, which is here, and. Uh, we will travel back we will cross these as well now it is not recommended to go into the, this place because scavengers may try to attack you in this place but I was with a horse so yeah I went out and yeah so So we have to go back to the forest cross now. We are going there. Let's see. Now this game doesn't have teleportation which is very vital thing for any game but this game doesn't have that. I wish there was some teleportation. So we are back to forest cross now. In the forest cross, we have to go back to journeyman's major tower. We will 
Yeah, here's the journeyman mage's tower. You have to click on this guy and get the curse star. So we are still not lacking bronze bar, but we have the tin ore and we have the copper ore here. So we have to first make copper bars. To make copper bars, we have to go to this place, smelter. Now copper bar will be made by him. So give this, give all the copper ore to him and he will craft you the copper bar. Then he will craft the bronze bar here. So bronze, bronze bar is like with tin ore and copper bar. So we'll craft these. So now we have the exact items of what we need to craft the journeyman's curse stuff. So we'll go back to... The only one major tower. Click on the curse star. We have everything. We have 16 uh, chestnut planks and bronze bar as well. We have a little bit more than we do need it. So we'll go and for this we could use focus or we or we cannot like we could use it or we cannot use it depends. But right now we focus will give you a higher quality uh, item but I'm not using it because I need to save my focus so we will craft this Tricky but possible. ok so now we have if you see we have the journeyman's curse stuff here so if I remove this one the fire stuff which I have uh, put in this here so we have now the journeyman's curse stuff it has a lot of things like wild curse and curse sickle. It has armor piercer and curse beam. It has death curse and it has beam, damage, energetic and furious. You could unlock these when you practice more skills with it. So, yeah. That is how you would craft the journeyman's curse stuff and I may not know all about this game but for crafting this this is all you need to know and either you use it or keep it in the bank or sell it that is your choice so what I will do is I will just keep it in the bank here with my other stuff and call it a day so let's go back where we have started and uh, yeah so that is how you would craft uh, journeyman's curse stuff hope you like the video if you like the tutorial here do consider to like and subscribe i will make more videos like this and uh, yeah so thank you